good morning students once again i welcome you all in my classroom and today we are going to read maths and in the last class what we have done we have learned about addition of four digit and under this heading what we have learned we have learned about two ways of addition the first one is addition with regrouping and the second one is addition without regrouping so now what we are going to do today we are going to learn today a new topic and that is nothing else it is properties of properties of addition okay so <coughs> sorry in this section we are going to learn three properties how many three the first one is order property order property for addition and the second one is grouping and the third one is additive property of zero okay zero so we will deal with one by one now come to the first topic what is order property do you know can you answer <coughs> now in class in your class you are supposed to learn about four digit addition means addition of four digit number but now i'm giving you example of uh, small digit so that you can understand the rule then after we will come to four digit okay so now suppose i'm adding two plus three it is equal to i can hope I hope you will get the answer easily now if I will say 3 plus 2 is equal to again 5 both the answer are same or different if I'm telling you 2 add 10 plus 12 okay 0 plus 2 is 2 1 plus 1 is 2 22 and if I will say 12 plus 10 what will the answer it will again 22 so what you are looking we observe in that, that in the both cases that we get this same answer. What we are getting? We are getting the same answer. So, the sum of two number does not change when the order of the addends change. Means, these are addends. If the order of addends are changed, then the sum of the number are not changed. This is the order property. Now, come to the four digit number. I am giving you the example of the four digit. I hope you have understood this. So come to four digit number. And I am giving you example. In your book it is given 3, 2, 7, 5, 1, 3, 8, 9. Now add it. 9 plus 5 is equal to 40. 1 carry. 8 plus 7, 15 plus 1, 16. 1, 3, 3, 6. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 1, 6. 3, 1, 4. Now, I am changing the order of addends, okay? The position of this. So, 1, 3, 8, 9. <coughs> Sorry. 3, 2, 7, 5. Now, add it once again. What you will get? Tell me the answer. Write it down in your rough copy. Take your rough copy in front of you and solve the problem in that. And then after, give me the answer. You can pause the video and you can type the answer. Okay, 9 plus 5 is equal to 14, 1. 8 plus 1, 9, 9, 7, 16, 1. 3, 1, 4, 4, 2, 6, 3, 1, 4. Again, the answer is same. So, what we are observing? We observe that in both cases, we get the same answer. So, what we can say about order of property, order property for addition? We can say, what we can say? We can say <coughs> the sum of 
two numbers does not change when the order of the addends is changed what is this called this is called this is called the order row 34 addition of numbers okay the sum of two numbers doesn't change 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 2 change when the order of the addends that is 2 or 3 is changed this is called the order property for addition of number yes we have completed this property now we will move to this grouping property of for addition so again i will start with two digit number or one digit number to explain you the concept then after we will move to four digit number so come on i'm taking my favorite digit that is two plus three okay now i am keeping it in one group and then i'm adding one okay and one more the same digit but i'm grouping the grouping is changed okay i'm changing the group so now let's begin with this first of all 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 plus 1 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 now have a look on this 2 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 are the answer are same or different they are same so we see that we see that in both cases answer are same so now just move to four digit number i am taking the example four digit or three digit and that example is one two five one plus four one five okay now plus one zero nine this is one and second one what is one two five one same digits same numbers with different grouping okay now first add this one five plus one is equal to six five plus one six two plus four six and one okay now plus one zero nine nine plus six fifty five one carry one plus zero one one plus six seven six plus one seven and one okay now have a look on this this is not in the group first of all we will solve this which is in the bracket now five nine fourteen one carry one plus zero one one plus one two four plus one five now four four plus one these are at one's place four plus one five two plus five seven five plus two seven and this is one so again what happened we see that the answer in the both cases are same so what is the grouping property for addition the sum of three or more numbers remains the same even when their grouping is changed okay the sum of three or four number remains same even their grouping is changed this grouping property is this this is known as grouping property for addition understood now come to additive additive property of zero okay and this so if we will add 2 plus 0 is equal to 2 only if i will add 0 plus 5 it will 5 if you have five chocolates and i will give you zero chocolates 
then what will happen how many chocolates will you have you have only five so if we add zero to any number then what will the answer come the answer will be the number itself so the additive property of zero is nothing else the sum of a number and zero is the sum of a number and a zero is the number itself nothing else. so with this we have completed the properties of addition these are the three properties of addition the first one is order property means what um, what does it means it means the sum of two number does not change when the order of the addends changed okay grouping property means the sum of three or more numbers remains same even when their grouping is changed additive property the sum of a number and zero is the number itself nothing else now we will see some examples which is given in your book that in exercise 2.3 okay i'm going to write the question you can read the question for me what is given exercise 2.3 you have to do this in a book only Fill in the blanks. Question number one. Oh, this is making the sound. One zero four zero plus two zero eight zero is equal to dash plus one zero four zero. <coughs> Second question is six hundred seventy five plus one thousand three hundred ninety four is equal to dash plus six thousand seventy five. Now next question. Three seven five is equal to read the question. Say the question as I'm writing. Very good. Those who are telling, they are very good. And those who are not saying, please say. Okay, I don't have a space over here. I am using the next line. Again. Okay, so how many properties of addition we have did? We have dealt with three. First is order of property, second grouping property, and third additive property. Okay, and grouping property is also known as associative property. So here, which property we will use? Order of property. If oh, if this is given here this is given here what we will add to this number then the answer will come when we will add this two number nothing else 2080 zero, zero. again 6 plus 7, 675 is added here which is left what we will add in this that will be the same then answer will be the same when we will add this nothing else the same number because the answer what, what is the under property for addition tells it tells that the sum of two numbers does not change when the order of addends changed so we have changed the order nothing else okay now once again the sum of two number will not change if the order of addends are changed what is happening suppose here 1040 is at the first position now it is at the last position once again 3 to 7 will be the first position now this is additive 
property of zero if you will add zero to any number the answer will be the number itself again you can see 8383 is there and answer is also here same then what property we will use additive property of zero so what we will write over here only zero because this sum the sum of the number and zero is equal to the number itself now here we comes with the grouping property of addition that is associative property so it is in one group and it is labeled separately and now this one is in the group then what should be we write we write 600 so that the answer would be the same what is the what comes here now once again here 3173 678 5 this is in the same group and now this is in the same group what is left this we have to find out which number we should put in the blank so that the answer will be the same because they here equal sign is given so we are just nothing else we are doing we are just using the properties of addition now this is in the same group and this is left now this one and this one and this one will be the same because it is this is written separately over here then what is left left this is left so with this we have completed our concept of properties properties of addition so bye bye take care